we're seeing the agenda. We're seeing the Meat Girls movie tonight. <laughs> it makes me want to cry. Makeup is done. I'm going to quickly throw on the outfit and then we're going to head out. Oh my god, I'm literally running. Stop. <laughs> my new favorite thing ever. Look at that. Lunch is served. That's where you meet your man. <laughs> things on the agenda today number one we need to go grocery shopping if i told you when the last time i went grocery shopping was you guys would be repulsed i haven't been in literal months so first thing on the agenda we need to get groceries desperately i also want to do a workout at some point i'm not feeling the workout class today because i did one last night and it is freezing out if i can minimize the amount of times i have to leave the house today i will do that because it is too cold to be outside i've been doing a lot of at-home workouts recently and then i also have plans tonight with tyler and our friend jd fun fact about me i could not swallow pills until i was in college i would literally take the kids medicine like all throughout high school it was so embarrassing i had to get the liquid but now i'm mentally unwell so obviously i had to learn how to swallow a pill i'm gonna do a little bit of skincare started taking spironolactone for my acne and my skin cleared up immensely also, I just got a call from Walgreens this morning. I went to the doctor over like winter break and I got switched from Wellbutrin to Lexapro. If you guys haven't been watching my videos for a while, you might not know. I was taking Wellbutrin for like, anxiety mostly and like some depression. And honestly, I don't think it did anything because I like weaned myself off of it from the past few weeks and like I feel no different. <laughs> So I don't know if it takes longer to get out of your system, but genuinely like feel no different than when I was on Wellbutrin. So that sucks because I was on that for a year and I don't think it was doing anything. I'm going to take a break for like a month and then go on Lexapro. Yeah, that's a little update for you guys. <laughs> Me mental health. Shout out to those who are also on antidepressants. <laughs> I feel like I need to self tan again, like maybe tonight because I got this new self tan for Christmas. Bought this Bondi Sand self tanning one hour express. This is amazing. So I used it the first time and I hated it because I only left it on for like three hours and it did nothing and then i slept in it because i read online that some people sleep in it and when i tell you it worked so well and i'm obsessed believe it or not i am paler than this there is some self tan on here but i need to do it again because it's wearing off <laughs> I don't know if any of you guys have a problem where you get dust in your hairbrush, but I do. I've seen girls on TikTok talk about it, so I know I'm not the only one. I recently got this like wooden brush with metal spikes and the dust doesn't get in that as easily, so recommend. Good morning. My entire 40 pages video saying that the movie sucks. Comments are like, oh, you must have been watching a different movie. Guys, we're seeing the Mean Girls movie tonight. And I keep seeing TikToks that it's really bad on my For You page, but Tyler said he saw ones that said it was good, so. My name is Regina George. My nails like breaking off. <clears throat> Alani sent me these new flavors. This one's Cherry Twist packaging. I like that, do you wanna try it? Yeah, that's good. I don't know how they make Alani taste like actual sugar blasters when there's no sugar in it. I was gonna go to the grocery store, but I decided that I just want to get my workout in for the day, especially because I'm already halfway done with my Alani. Like, I chugged it because it was so good. Now I'm like, I really am ready for a workout. I just got, oh, I just got this new workout set for Christmas and I've been dying to wear it. I'll link the set right here, but this blue color is just gorgeous. Let's put it on. Is this color not literally to die for? Okay, all dressed and energized. Let's get this workout in. It was so 
hard, but it feels good. I'm gonna vacuum the house quick and then we're gonna shower before we go get groceries. The amount of times over the past month that I've eaten spaghetti is so many because I haven't been grocery shopping, but I always have marinara and spaghetti. So, good post-workout meal though. Need to fuel up before the grocery store. Otherwise, I will buy everything in there. I wasn't planning on showering before I went to the grocery store, but literally I feel disgusted. I got this Bumble and Bumble post-workout dry shampoo mist. Basically, you spray it on your like wet, sweaty hair. It's supposed to fix it or something. <laughs> this is what it looks like. I got so sweaty during that workout. so cute the set is my favorite thing because you don't have to put any effort into your outfit i'll link this on my ltk for you guys too if you want to twin now let's go grocery shopping because i desperately need to oh is it freezing out yeah perfect nothing like a jumbo winter coat ruining your outfit love living in chicago it's literally freezing every moment i'm going to trader joe's i'll see you later God, it's so cold it's torture we're at that point in the year where i like want to cry when i step outside like it makes me want to cry ah! it's too cold okay <laughs> literally torture <gasps> no i hate when the bluetooth automatically connects shut up Okay, I made a list of groceries that I need, so I'm not going in blindly. And I actually looked at what I had before leaving, which I never do. It takes about like 10 minutes to get there. Oh my God, the steering wheel feels like a block of ice. I know that I choose to live here, but also like that bus just almost literally hit me. Can all my family and friends pack their stuff up and can we move to fucking South Carolina or Florida? Like I can't do it. It's torture. Okay, why is there so many cards right now? Decide before I lose my mind. For heaven's sake, you take my friends away. We are here. I have my list ready on my phone. Let's go. Thank you. hate how Trader Joe's like doesn't have everything you need sometimes but my lazy ass is not going to another store so that's the best we're gonna do ah, it's freezing also can we talk about how every Trader Joe's employee is the nicest person to exist to all my single people out there I get a lot of complaints from my single friends being like where am I supposed to meet a man these days go to Trader Joe's <laughs> that's where you're supposed to meet a man because the bars are not cutting it I agree with you there and most of my friends work with like 50 to 60 year olds so it's not gonna be a Jim and Pam situation from the office where you fall in love with your co-worker Trader Joe's ladies, that's where you meet your man. <laughs> but back secured, let's head back home. I'm back from Trader Joe's. I'm gonna do a little haul of everything I got because I did get some things that I'm excited about that I've never tried before. We got red pepper hummus, mini cucumbers, broccoli, lettuce, parmesan cheese. This is a huge bag. Vegetable stir fry. I'm gonna make fried rice, so I thought this was perfect. Cauliflower milky. Everyone and their mother talks about this, and I've never tried it. I'm super excited to. Marinara sauce, because you guys know I love my spaghetti. Sour cream, pico, black beans, corn, and a lime. Not to mind all of this was only $38. Let's put everything away now. Why? Because I think I might have bought yesterday. No. Well, it says Monday on the pass. You bought them yesterday, Monday. Okay. You guys, we're supposed to go to the Mean Girls movie right now. And Tyler thinks he bought the wrong day for tickets. Perfect. Should we just go and see if there's like seats? Yeah, I bought yesterday. 
There's a predicament. I bought tickets for yesterday instead of today. <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> We're not going to be able to go see the movie. Do you think that there's still seats? Wait, do they even have a showing today at 6? <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Okay, perfect. <laughs> we literally go to the bar because our tickets don't work. You guys, they let us switch our tickets. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting a slush. I'm getting a cherry. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting, oh, I'm getting a mixture of cherry and blue raspberry. Do you do butter your popcorn? Yeah, do you not? No, I don't I need extra <laughs> butter. Could I get a slushy, please? <laughs> I needed you guys to be there. Yeah, we need to be there. Yeah. Thank you. How much do you guys? Yeah, JD was gonna put none. JD wants no butter. We're like, what? You're too healthy. Yeah. We gotta shake it. <laughs> no, no. What if you? I'm oh just touching the seat. <laughs> no, I feel like just shake it. I feel like we need to take some of it. No, <laughs> like, so, who cares? Just no, pour it. it. Okay. We need more than that. <laughs> You need to drench it. Where's the salt while we're at it? I already actually did. Have it. Um, we need more. Okay, no, I'll come back out. We can eat this. I'll come back out. But it's like halfway. No. This is Santa's behavior. He cries about the butter. Like, we need a tub. This butter obsession. This Do you think this is actually butter? Is it like. No. It's good. We need a boatload of napkins. No. He's disgusted. <laughs> He's like the one who bought it. We're demanding the butter. He's not used to our ways. Yeah. <laughs> if you're gonna eat a healthy, you might as well just floor it, you know? Slushy and popcorn acquired. I heard this movie was bad, so let's hope it's good. Theater 7, I think? These amateurs didn't bring their own blanket. We're sharing it, actually. We're like, let's put the thing. <gasps> Stop. <laughs> Wait, should we ask you're also an amateur because you didn't bring your own candy. This is zero. Are we cereal? Oh, <laughs> Thank you, sir. We're low key kind of close to the screen, but whatever. So good. Back from the movies, and honestly, I thought it was so good. I know people were hating on it, I think because no one was expecting it to be a musical, but I love Mean Girls on Broadway, the musical with Renee Rapp. Like, she is the Regina George on Broadway, so I thought that was so iconic that she was in the movie. Love Chris Brindley because he's in the summer. I turned pretty, you already know I'm a stan. He was Aaron Samuel. I thought it was so good, and honestly, funny. Like, I laughed a few times here or there. <laughs> to put on a long sleeve PJs. It is so freaking cold in my house that I'm literally gonna put this over. It's like this jumbo blanket Sherpa. It is the best thing I've ever put on my body, especially when I'm cold. I have to finish up a few brand deals that are due tonight. It's literally 10 p.m. right now and I haven't eaten dinner. I have to finish my brand deals. I have to still edit and get ready for bed. But I'm not gonna complain because I don't have a normal line of five and that would be way worse. So you don't need to humble me. I'm already humble. I'm still irrelevant, y'all. I finished up everything I need to do tonight. So I'm just quickly brushing my teeth and then heading to bed. My new favorite thing ever is reading <laughs> while I get ready for bed. It's one of the best things about having a Kindle. You can just sit on the counter and read with no problem. I don't have to hold open a book so I can read while I'm getting ready for bed. Currently reading Lessons in Chemistry and I am obsessed. It's different than anything I've read before and I don't know why, but I'm really really liking it and I'm only 24% of the way through. Also found out that they came out with a series for the book, like a TV show. That's my favorite thing ever is reading something and then getting to watch it. <laughs> I'm trying the espresso coffee for the first time today. But as you guys know, I'm an iced coffee girly. So I put it in the freezer and I'm gonna drink it in like an hour. So I'm making my own coffee at home and drinking that in the morning like literally gets me out of bed. I wake up and I'm like, well, you know what? I don't have that much to look forward to today. But at least I can drink my yummy coffee that I made myself. And I tell you, you need an espresso. Last night when we came home from the movies, I had a package waiting for me and I wanted to wait to open it on camera for you guys. No idea who it's from, but this package is gorgeous. No, what? 
It's from Estee Lauder. I've never gotten PR from them. This is so exciting. There are literally so many goodies inside this bag, I can already tell. But presentation, 10 out of 10, might I say. We have this bag full of stuff. I love this like puffy print recently. It's so cute. Like this would be a good gym bag. Like it's actually nice quality. It's not like plastic. And a matching little cosmetic bag. Hello, that is so cute. We got a lot of goodies. Nutritious melting soft cream mask. Radiant essence lotion. And two in one cleanser. Almost running out of my face wash. So this will be perfect. And lastly, I don't know if you guys have seen these, but basically I, along with other people, get annoyed that water when you wash your face drips down your arm. So they gave me these little pads so it doesn't do that. A little water bottle. And in a the bag, they sent this cute little sweatshirt. Okay, really cute. Thank you so much, Estee Lauder. My coffee's finally cold, so I'm gonna finish making it. That's satisfying. Also, can we establish that hot girls drink milk in 2024? Like, we're over the milk hay. I don't know where that came from, but milk is so good. Okay, that is not the color we're looking for. Literally, I can tell what coffee is gonna be good and what coffee's gonna be bad solely based on the color. Here she is. Currently 10.30 and I have Orange Theory at 12.30. So I have like a little under two hours before I have to leave. Ooh, there we go. Wait, I literally made the perfect amount. Hopefully it tastes good. That is so strong. I kind of like it for some reason. Now I need to do all my shit or I have to leave for Orange Theory. Let's head in. <laughs> This is literally my favorite thing to make. It's quinoa, pico, corn, black beans, cucumbers, lettuce. I usually have chickpeas, but when I went to Trader Joe's yesterday, they were out. And honestly, they're always out of everything, so I wasn't surprised. But I didn't have any leftovers, so I had to make the full last meal for lunch, which I don't normally do. Mm, this meal is so easy and it's so good. Healing up for my orange theory class. I really said devoured. One thing about me is if I make a meal, you know damn well I'm going to finish the entire thing, no problem. <sighs> Okay, I am running so late for my orange theory class already. So we're gonna throw this outfit on. Here is my outfit. I decided to wear this jacket that I wore yesterday because I already wore it. And it's gonna get even more dirty at Orange Theory. I hate working out in the winter because I have to put on 50 layers just to leave the house. But it is so cold, I'm not taking any chances. The reason I'm running late is because I can't just leave the kitchen a mess when I'm done making food. Like when you live with roommates, you just don't do that because it's rude. Especially because I don't have a job. It'd be really easy to be like, okay, this oh. doesn't even have a job and she can't even clean the kitchen. Let's go work out. It's literally 12.20. I have 10 minutes until my class starts. Why am I an idiot? I'm taking the trash out as well. Because I'm a good roommate. Even though I'm in a rush, guys. My roommates are watching this. I'm still taking the trash out. <sighs> literally got ice all over my pants. Really? I might be right on time. It's 12.26, my class starts at 12.30. What do y'all think? I have an issue of being late. Do you guys see now why I wanna cry every time that plays in my car? Like, bitch. Um, I'm gonna go, cause I'm a mess. Hopefully I can get it together at this workout class. Bye. There she is. Let's get it. I basically forgot. Okay. <laughs> Orange theory complete. Whew. I'm freezing. Okay, you guys, I am back from the gym. I'm gonna take a quick shower. I'm actually going to dinner with a girl I've never met before. Her name's Jenna. And I don't even remember how we started talking. I think it was through social media, but I love meeting new people ever since I moved here. And like going out and doing stuff, it's my favorite. Like I'm gonna get a job eventually, obviously, but since I don't have one right now, I have so much flexibility. So it's like, <laughs> my camera almost just flew in the toilet. But yeah, we're gonna shower quickly and then get ready. Bye, I'll see you when I'm refreshed. 
out of the shower and I'm about to get ready. Of course, I'm running late when I'm gonna meet a girl for the first time ever. Like, that's such a bad impression. I feel so bad if I'm late. The problem is, is like we're meeting at 4.30, which is in an hour, but it takes 33 minutes to commute there. So I have like 20 minutes to get ready. Let's speed run this. Done. I'm gonna quickly throw on an outfit and then we're gonna head out. Hopefully my hair looks fine as is. Maybe I'll throw it up. I'm not really sure. I just need to do whatever is quickest. We are going for warmth and comfort, not style today because it's just too cold. I'm gonna wear my go-to jeans from Abercrombie and this thick ass turtleneck. Hopefully this will keep me warm along with a huge puffy coat. Okay, here is the fit. You can't even really see it. I'm gonna spray it on some of my favorite perfume. Again, we're going for warmth, so I'm gonna wear my Tasman Uggs. I don't even know when the bus is gonna get here. I haven't even looked at the schedule, so I'm going to freeze my ass off waiting for it. I pack my Kindle in my purse so that I can breathe on the train ride, and I think we're all ready. Not playing around with the Chicago weather today. <laughs> Let's head out. Bye, Tyler. I see the bus across the street. I need to cross like now in order to not miss it. <sighs> I'm gonna miss it, I'm gonna miss it. Oh my god. Dude, we need to move it or lose it. I'm about to make a break for it because I don't even care. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, I actually might not be late if I make this bus. Wait, fuck, I forgot they moved the bus stop. Oh my god, I'm literally running. I look like an actual freak. I almost got run over. We are here, I didn't miss it. <laughs> Literally 30 minutes downtown, but here we go. I never take the red line, it's kinda scary. I'm glad I'm going early so it's not literally pitch black outside, but it will be when I come back and I hate doing that. I have like a five minute walk the rest of the way to the restaurant. I don't even know what it's called, but I'll be there soon. I'll let you guys know how it goes. We literally devoured the food and the wine. We've been here for like an hour and a half and it's actually been so fun. She's so sweet and the food is actually really good. So happy hour is light. I'm tipsy. Hey guys, I just got back to my apartment. I have a package waiting for me, so I'm excited about that. Should we do an unboxing? I'm, I'm tipsy. So I know, happy hour was so much fun. Good evening. Hey guys, I am back from happy hour. So I'm gonna do a drunk unboxing. I ordered swimsuit for my Miami trip that's next week. I got a vacation right when I got in the L to go to I can't speak. I got a notification that my package arrived right when I left to go on the train to get to downtown. I was like, I hope no one steals my package because it's Chicago. Package could easily get stolen. Okay, no one cares. Um let's open this bad boy. It's from Dippin' Daisies. <coughs> Suit number one, suit number two. This random tank top I ordered so that I can get free shipping. Honestly, pattern, cute. It'll be a staple for tanning because no tan lines. Could wear on a family trip with my boyfriend. <gasps> this is so cold. I just picked this up off the ground 10 minutes ago. So like, it's literally an iceberg because I live in Chicago and I'm sitting outside. Other than that, love the color. It's a little cheeky, but like perfect amount of cheeky. High cut, we love. I'm ready for candy bitches. Okay, that's it for the haul. This is me checking in. It's 11 21. I'm about to head to bed. I'm so tired. I've been watching Gilmore Girls FaceTime Xanis for like an hour and a half, and I'm gonna hit the hay. I signed up for an early morning workout class, so that was a decision. But I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching this video. The next vlog, I'm going to be in Miami, so get excited. Make sure you're subscribed. Follow me on all my other social media platforms. If you want to stay updated, that's where to find me. Other than that, I'll see you guys next Thursday for a brand new video. Love you all. Bye! I've been thinking about good times.